What do I need to do to put you in this vampiric chariot today? Welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Today we're going to be painting the Vampiric Maiden Chariot from One Page Rules. This is a 3D print and it's a little bit bigger. So this video will be a little bit longer, uh, but it's fun. So you can check out uh, these files online. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to pick this up. It's a really cool miniature. Um, would be good for your games of Age of Sigmar. I don't know what I'm going to use this for. I just really wanted to paint it because it looked like a lot of fun. And it is. So I was proven correct by myself. Anyway, that's enough jibber jabber. Let's do it. Give this a spray of black and then a spray of white from above Zenithal. We're going to be painting this all in weird sections and we're going to start with poppy red here. And this is going to go all over the main body of the uh, chariot. So, um, yeah. It's going everywhere, basically. And it's okay if we get it on other parts. We're going to be going over with metallics and stuff to obscure all that. Next, we're going to take some bright red here. And this is going all over her dress. So, we're going to be jumping back and forth between colors here. It was just, like, the easiest way for me to do it. But this is going all over her dress. Now, we want to leave that belt section that she has and the riffle on her uh, top of her dress aside. It's also going to go on the inside parts of the hat i love this hat it reminds me of uh gary oldman's dracula hair uh, i like that it's very good next we're gonna take some purple swarm and on this other lady here this is going all over her dress and again we're staying away from the belt and the cuffs and those areas i'm gonna take some moonlight coral and this is going all over the third vampire's dress and hat we're staying away from the cuffs and the belt and the embroidery we're just getting it on the dress Next, we're taking some Ancient Honey, and this is going on the cuffs and embroidery of the bright red vampire and the vampire that we use the purple swarm on. So we're just going to go in and fill in all those spots and really make them look fancy and regal and like they're going to a dance. Although it's not a, a fun dance, and I wouldn't want to go to it. Nope. Then we're going to grab some Caribbean Ocean, and the one that we use the Moonlight Coral on is going to go all over that trim belt and on her hat as well it's also going on the fur on the main one's hat next we're taking some briar queen chill and this is going all over the vampire skins now i wish i probably thinned this down with some speed paint medium but i didn't so moving on next we're going to take some grave lord gray and we're going to use this on all of their hair Next, we're going to take some deep red here, and we're going to put this into their eyes. So just dot in the pupils, and uh, yep, get that red in there. And we're going to take some bone white while we're already doing small details, and we're just going to hit their fangs with that. Next, we're going to take some burnished red, and this is going to go all over the main body of the horses. So their actual uh, fur and skin and all that this is going over all of it and since we're using speed paints we do want to make sure not to get this anywhere else next we're hopping over to some murder scene which is an awful name for a paint but whatever and this is going on the blanket that they have underneath their uh bridalry and i don't know what that thing's called the thing that attaches to the coach now we're gonna take some moody mauve and this is gonna go all over the blanket that's on top of the thing that attaches to the coach because i don't know what it's called still i'm not gonna learn i don't have time to google i don't even know how to google it thing that attaches on horse to coach it has a name everything has a name it's gonna be something like Gr grim diddle or something because i don't know i'm not doing it in the time i did this i could have googled it but i'm not going to gonna hop back to that poppy red and we're gonna use this on all these straps holding on uh, to the horses here so everything that's a strap getting some of that poppy red and this will match it to the coach so we've got kind of a unifying color we're also gonna do the hair on top of their head there on their little tassel take some pallid bone here and just use these on the wrappings around the horses ankles 
Next, we're going to take some mummified grime, and this is just going on their hooves. Then we're going to hop back to that ancient honey, and we're just going to put this on all these little tassels hanging off of the uh, bridalry. And we're going to grab some Gravelord Grey, and that's going on the hair of the horses as well. The vampire ladies like to match their hair to the horse's hair, apparently. Yep. It's a weird thing, but they want to look good when they go to the uh, the gala where they murder everyone because they're vampires. Next, we're taking some brazen copper here. Now, this is going to go all over the metal on the coach. So, all over the um, edges and the railings and uh, the foot pads. Basically, everything is getting this. And for some variation, we're going to take some Talos Bronze. This is going to go all over the wheels of the uh, coach, the foot pad for the driver. We're also going to use this on a lot of the metal on the actual vampires. So it's going to go on the claws that she has on her hand here. Um, and on some of the other ones that have daggers, we'll put it on the handles, we'll put it on the blades. Um, basically there's a reason for this so as i was starting to paint this i went to go reach for the uh enchanted steel and the polished silver to do some of these parts and i went it doesn't really make sense because uh they can't they can't have silver because they're vampires so we're only sticking to golds and bronzes and coppers um, which is kind of a neat little a neat little thing to add in i guess at least i think it is but uh apparently i think a lot of my ideas <laughs> so we're gonna take some glittering loot here and this is gonna go all over the emblems on the uh coach the little uh notches on the wheels it's gonna go on the candlesticks any of the designs on the coach there's a skull in the front and an emblem up at the top um it's going all over there We're also going to use this on the horses, any parts of them that have metal on them. So like the the belts and headdress and this metal thing that holds on the coach. Oh, and all the buttons on the cushion there. Want some nice gold cushion buttons. We're also going to use this here on the uh, vampire ladies here. So some of them were in rings or they have little adornments there. Uh, we're just going to be putting it all over them. Next, we're going to take some Brassy Brass and we're going to dry brush all over the Talos Bronze and the Brazen uh, Copper. So the Speed Paint Metallics can be a little dull sometimes. We just want to bring a little bit more shine into them. Next, we're going to take some Ochre Clay and this is going to go all over the candlesticks. So they look like really sort of weird beeswax candlesticks. Then we're going to take some goth skin dip and some speed paint medium and I'm going to thin this down and it's going to go all over the uh, bright red that we did and all over the cart completely. Basically we're tying all these colors together and giving some shading. Stay away from the flames and the candles but it's going all over the metals that we did on the horses as well. Basically we're just shading everything. Next we're taking some hex wraith flame and this is going all over the candle flames. Next, we're going to take some Speed Paint Medium, Soul Bright Gray, and some Goth Skin Dip. And this is going to be the skin for the driver. And we want a really pale skin color, but still has a little bit of red to it. Basically, my thought is, is that the driver, being a human, the, the vampires don't really care about him, right? He's just more like a dog. But a dog that you can feed on every once in a while, I guess. So, like, his skin color should be very pale. Like, every once in a while, they're just like, oh, just do a shot off of him out of his neck i don't know <gasps> vampires are weird next we're gonna take some horde bronze because they wouldn't waste gold on him and that's going on his helmet and we're gonna take some skeleton horde here and it's gonna go all over the wrappings around his legs next we're gonna take some gore grunt of fur and this is just gonna go on his shoes and his belt And we're going to take some runic gray here. It's going to go all over his shirt and also the cloth over his knees. 
and we're going to take some snake bite leather and this is going on his shorts here. Now, once we've done that, we're going to paint the base and this is done. And I am really happy with how this turned out. It was a lot of fun to do. It's a weird vampire coach filled with ladies. And um, I, I really, really love it. I thought, what a cool miniature and what a fun project to work on. So every once in a while, it's fun, I guess, to step out of your wheelhouse and do something a little bit bigger. Uh, again, this is pretty much 99% speed paints and Zenithal, but it's a cool miniature and it, it, it was a fun project to do. I really have been doing a lot of uh, fantasy stuff and undead stuff, and this was just a nice way to do something that just wasn't a bunch of single characters. Plus, it's winter here in Canada, and everything outside is uh, cold and frozen and dead, so undead and vampire stuff makes sense for the winter, I guess. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff, and you guys have a great day. Next, we're taking some hex... Hex... Bleh, me, boing, hex... Me, eh.